after a couple of weeks of very heavy rain it's it's good to see clear skies and sun again and the atmosphere is incredibly clear and the light unbelievably crisp as the sun began skimming the surface of the water it caught all of the surrounding vegetation The rising sun began to catch the tiny spider webs that form in these grasses. We sat for quite some time just enjoying the early morning. It's always such a special time of day for us. This morning, a troop of Samanga monkeys descended upon this tree and tucked into its delicious fruits. The fruit of the wild fig tree. They are not alone though. There is competition from the trumpeter hornbill, who are also drawn to this sugar-filled fruit. The monkeys keep them at bay though. Basking in the sun, the dominant and only male of these Samanka monkeys has a vantage point of his troop and possible predators. Being true tree monkeys, they have very long tails. And this female is grooming the alpha male's tail. This is all part of their social bonding. We enjoyed watching this tree of life and we have enjoyed watching these monkeys eating its fruit. We find this beautiful adult female of the species Samabates geometricus, a creature thought to be extinct before its rediscovery in the 1960s. This geometric tortoise is sometimes also called a starred tortoise, and more than anything renowned for its striking shell or carapace, marked with beautiful yellow rays radiating outwards from a central areoli. No two individuals are the same, each having a different number of rays in their stars. And there, you can see the external ear opening covered with a thin tympanic membrane. Something interesting, no tortoise has teeth. Both jaws are of keratin, a horn-like material Cautiously, she has emerged 
carefully scouting the surroundings for danger. An interesting thing is that the bony carapace or shell is actually an extension of the inner skeleton. So you might say then that practically this creature has both an endoskeleton and an exoskeleton all in one. Quite a remarkable physical defense adaptation. Here you see clear evidence on just how much she depends on her eyesight for survival. It is not certain how well they can hear, whether they respond to direct audio waves in the air or more to vibrations transmitted along the ground. But they do have a very good eyesight and apparently a keen sense of smell. And so when certain that there is no danger, she trundles off on her tortoise business. The weight and unwieldiness of the carapace enormously reduces the tortoise's breathing capacity and the efficient movement of its blood, factors which generally slow the creature's activities. But perhaps it was meant to be slow. Who among us truly understands the impeccable choreography of nature? We then find a male geometric tortoise. These very interesting little creatures are thought to be the oldest form of living reptile on the earth. On the timeline they go back probably as far as 200 million years. And given that track record one might assume that they are guaranteed survivors. But that is not so. There are only an estimated 4,000 geometric tortoises on this earth. 